Thanks, Max. Hey, good morning, everybody out there. Really appreciate uh, you showing up and participating in this uh, ceremony. Sergeant Major Woods, thanks for attending that long flight down here. The allies and partners out here is just an absolute testament to uh, the work that uh, CMC Cook has done over the past year. So this is really an indicative uh, mark on CMC Cook on your representation here. And I certainly appreciate your, uh, your participation and continued friendship uh, with everybody here at CLDJ and CJTF HOA. Teammates, CJTF HOA, Thank you. Thanks for attending today's change of responsibility ceremony between Command Master Chief Mike Cook and Command Chief Master Sergeant Ted Braxton Jr. The Command Senior Enlisted Leader is, is one of those key leadership positions within CJTF HOA that embodies leadership commitment and the essence of service. I'd like to take a moment to highlight some of the key accomplishments and exemplary contributions that CMC Cook and the significance of his leadership in our operational success. Over the past five months, I've had the distinct honor to witness CMC Cook's dedication and contribution to CJTF HOA, our mission and our, the men and women that make up our great task force. From managing personnel matters to assessing force protection issues, Command Master Chief Cook has been a source of sound guidance and judgment that other leaders and I have relied on on a daily basis. He provided vital continuity during my transition as Commanding General several months ago. His efforts made the transition seamless with minimal disruption to our command's operational tempo. In any organization, in any military organization, the role of a CS, C cell is pivotal. The C cell is not just the senior advisor, they are the backbone of the enlisted leadership. CMC Cook exemplified this role, serving as a crucial link between the command and the enlisted force. His experience and insights help shape the strategies that impact our personnel and our mission outcomes. The CSEL's responsibilities are multifaceted. They include ensuring the welfare and readiness of enlisted service members, fostering a culture of professionalism, and providing counsel to the command staff. CMC Cook's commitment to mentorship, professional development, and the health and well being of our personnel has been critical to the task force success. One of the key aspects of CMC Cook's leadership was his unwavering focus on morale and readiness. In a challenging environment like the Horn of Africa, where our service members are deployed far from home, it is essential that we maintain high spirits and a strong sense of community. Throughout his time here at CJTF HOA, CMC Cook continued to advocate for our force and ensured that our enlisted personnel have access to the resources that they need to succeed. His emphasis on open communications has created an environment where our service members feel valued, they feel heard, and they feel empowered. This directly translates to improved performance and mission success. CMC Cook supported the professional development of our non-commissioned officer corps through his engagements with multiple iterations of the NCO symposiums, his weekly C-cell meetings, and having an open door policy for anyone seeking his mentorship and guidance. He understands that an effective force constantly learns and evolves. Through training initiatives, mentorship programs, and leadership development opportunities, and the combined efforts of the command senior enlisted leaders, he encouraged our enlisted lead personnel to strive for excellence. By investing in the future leaders of our task force, he ensured that we not only prepared to meet the challenges of today, but we were also prepared to meet tomorrow's uncertainties. 
Cohesion and trust are the cornerstones of any successful military formation. CMC Cook emphasized collaboration and teamwork, bridging silos and fostering relationships across all ranks and branches here at Camp Lemonier and our outstations. In an environment where combined joint operations are the norm, the ability to work seamless, seamlessly with our partners is crucial. CMC Cook, his commitment to building trust and camaraderie substantially enhanced our operational effectiveness. He was key to providing continuity with allies and partners and building strong, enduring relationships and friendships. He has excelled in representing our commitment to a partnered approach to security and stability in the region. The challenges operating here in the Horn of Africa require adaptive leadership. CMC Cook navigated these challenges with a calm demeanor and a strategic foresight, sometimes overly fueled by excessive rivets. His ability to remain flexible and responsive to the evolving situations ensured that our task force remains ready to meet any mission requirement. CMC Cook helped CJTF HOA project power and increased the task force influence. CMC Cook, your contributions have been immeasurable and your impact will be felt for years. Your commitment to our enlisted force, focus on morale and readiness and emphasis on trust and cohesion have been invaluable to the mission's success. Your contributions and actions are a reminder that effective leadership is rooted in service, commitment, and a genuine care for those we lead. On behalf of the HOA team, I wish you fair winds following seas for all your future endeavors. You truly represented the senior non-commissioned officer corps, CJTF HOA, and the United States Coast Guard. As we embark on this new chapter, it is with great anticipation that we welcome back our incoming senior enlisted leader, Chief Master Sergeant Ted Braxton, Jr. Chief Braxton was at one time the senior enlisted leader of the 449th Air Expeditionary Group. He is no stranger to Camp Lemonier. He's no stranger to CJTF Hoa, and he knows where the skeletons are buried. I look forward to working with you and welcome your experience, get your guidance and expertise. I know you will bring the commitment and dedication at the same level to the mission and people as CMC could. And I'm confident that you will carry the torch of leadership with the same energy and devotion, ensuring the, con the continued success of our command and care of our teammates. Thank you all for your hard work and dedication. But before I close with our command's motto, and uh, I need some help. I will say for one final time, keep it nautical. One team. Ladies and gentlemen, the outgoing command senior enlisted leader, Command Master Chief Michael Cook. That was amazing. That was just worth a year right there. <laughs> no, not, not quite. All right. Uh, wow, General. Uh, thank you for those, those words. I am... Uh, I truly stand here more humbled uh, than I was earlier. Uh, it, it's, uh, I'm not going to cry, uh, so don't expect that. If anyone waged, you're, you're, hopefully you uh, waged that I would not. Um, good morning to our distinguished guests, our commanders, our key leaders throughout Camp Lemonye, our allies, our partners, our friends, 
senior enlisted leaders, the men and women, combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa, my teammates, who are in attendance today. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to, to celebrate and be here with us. I'd also like to give a special thanks to Sergeant Major Woods, our AFRICOM C-Cell, for making that trip down. It means a lot. It's hard to believe that it's been a year since I was up here in front of a completely different combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa. Everyone was different. I don't think there is one single person in this room, except for Peter, maybe. No, no, no. Um, he, there is so much change. That is the, the one thing that you can bet on here is change. Um, but I was handed the responsibility of command senior enlisted leader for Major General Shawley, uh, CJTF HOA's previous commanding general. It's been an amazing responsibility I have not taken lightly or for granted. As CJTF HOA's first U.S. Coast Guard Sentinel, I knew this was a unique opportunity, and I had to not only represent my service well, but also represent the men and women who make up this great team. It's truly been an honor and a privilege, and oh yeah, it was kind of stressful. Major General Cashman, sir, it's been an adventure. I really want to thank you, and I want to thank Major General Shawley for having the, uh, you, you gave me the opportunity, had the trust, confidence, uh, and the authorities that you've given me uh, to do my job in advocating and taking care of our service members. Uh, I think it was a, I'm going off script, I shouldn't do that, but I think it was kind of a, a wild card-ish thing uh, to put a, a Coast Guard Sentinel in here for the first time. Um, I, I hope it worked out by, uh, it, it sounds like it did according to your speech, sir. So uh, I thank you. Uh, and thank you, Sergeant Major Woods. I know, I know uh, you may or may not have been uh, rooting for me a little bit there. But I was lucky, I, I did have two different leadership styles to learn from. I learned different important facets, considerations, areas of in interest, and leadership developments under their unique and respective leadership styles. General Shawley made me smarter about Africa, its issues, political matters, culture, and all things Djiboutian. General Cashman taught me about military doctrine, institutional ideals, and to be a little more methodical in how to approach things calmly, uh, which I greatly appreciate. I've actually been told, uh, sir, that I am the yin to your yang. Um, not sure if that's weird, but eh, it's, it's what we got. Uh, for those that don't know, Major General Cashman is a man of many quotes, and I have a list. Uh, I've been keeping a list. Uh, that's so... When you see me writing things uh, at these important meetings, uh, it's usually just things that the general's saying that I think are funny. Um, I'm just kidding. So here's a couple of the appropriate ones, uh, and this is <laughs> this is quote unquote or qu in quotes. All this happiness has a shelf life. And my favorite, you want to demonstrate commitment, put groups on put groups. Put boots on the ground, baby. And I, that one is just, uh, it, it just screams ranger. It just, it just screams ranger. While both generals differed on some things, some of the commonalities I saw firsthand between both is their passion for our people, our allies and partners, and our mission to promote peace and security in the Horn of Africa. I also had the opportunity to learn from two different Maneuver Enhancement Brigades, 218th, and of course, the 204. Different task forces, or security forces rather, uh, Tomahawk and Paxton, and an entirely different group of directors. Can you believe the lone Coast Guard guy who's new to this job, never done before, was the continuity for this immense 
task force. It was a privilege to work with all the men and women from all the different units and all our partners. The one commonality is that they have all, and you all, have been consummate professionals and have left or will be leaving CJTF HOA better than you found it. What an amazing team of dedicated joint service members. I need to thank so many people and unfortunately don't have the time to name them all. Uh, I first uh, would like to uh, take just a quick moment to uh, thank Staff Sergeant, uh, was it, you sang the national anthem? Uh, that, was, that was great, thank you very much. Couldn't have asked for a better, that was, that was really good. Um, I need to thank Sergeant Major Woods uh, for your mentorship, guidance, friendship, and your advocacy. Appreciate it, brother. Command Sergeant Major Lindell, you've been my uh, alternate battle buddy and uh, trusted sounding board. And uh, I gained a lifelong brother. I also need to thank the rest of the cells throughout our area of operation. It's because of all of y'all's work and leadership that made my job a little bit easier. Rear Admiral Anduze, the former DCOM and uh, fighter pilot, you don't have to ask him, he will tell you. Uh, the current DCOM, Rear Admiral Kubu, I was overjoyed at being able to have some nautical time in the office and uh, appreciate your mentorship. Thank you to the front office team for keeping us on target, which is, is a, that's not an easy task at all. Uh, and thank the PSD for always getting us there on time, getting us back safe. All of our directorates, special staff, directors, for all your hard work. JVB for putting all this, JVB protocol for putting this all together. Your work, no one's work goes by unnoticed. And I, I do appreciate it. I want to thank the Navy leadership team here on camp. I want to thank the contractors and the, and the staff. They keep our lights on. They fix our ACs. They unclog the crappers that people, for some reason, keep putting dude wipes in and stuff. I don't know why, because um, it's really gross. Uh, for our food service personnel, there's a lot of people doing a lot of things for us here. I'm greatly appreciative. To our components, you're out there most times in austere environments and you're continuing to get it done. Thank you. To my Italian friends who have overfed me on multiple occasions that I have managed to have a bottle of Ber Lucchi, Berucchi champagne, very amazing. Your friendship, camaraderie, I will not forget. Our Japanese and French partners who always extend that hand of friendship, you nav four Atalanta, Aspides, Spanish, and most recently our German friends, along with the Republic of Korea partners. Thank you all. Without you, this mission would be so much harder and quite a bit lonelier. Most of all, I wanna thank my family for their love and support. Of course, most of all, my amazing wife, Jen, who definitely did not see any of this coming. I mean, after being apart for over 20 years, it's a super long story, I'll, I'll give you the Cliff Notes version. Apart for over 20 years, love of my life, and I left like an idiot. Uh, and then uh, we, we reconnected and uh, got married in uh, 2022. And I was supposed to retire last year, but instead I had this opportunity. I was called to continue serving. She understands that, she supported me. She handled it in stride, has taken care of everything, been through a hurricane by herself, 
She's, she's pretty tough. She's a Texas girl. Uh, she has a new appreciation for military life and being a military spouse. Arguably the hardest job in the military. I love you, beautiful. There are a couple significant changes over the last year here at HOA. Between the combined efforts of Command Sergeant Major Lindell, CJTF HOA, Camp Lemonnier, Senior Enlisted Team, we've enhanced some uh, enlisted leader professional development through improving the NCO Corporal's course, uh, most recently put on by uh, First Sergeant Lawrence, and also offering the Non-Commissioned Officers Professional Development Symposium. Command Sergeant Major Barclay almost got us to the finish line with the Army Basic Leadership Course, but we still have a little bit of red tape to get through. Uh, so hopefully uh, it will be implemented sometime in 2025. Don't give up that fight. Take advantage of every opportunity to be better. That's for everyone in here. Stay true to yourself and take time to take personal care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. The biggest change here was to the skyline of Shabelli Airfield with the placement and incorporation of the Patriot Battery, the Great Wall of Shabelli, as well as, uh, as well as improvements that are still happening with force protection for all our forces dispersed here in the Djibouti based cluster, as well as the outstations in uh, Kenya and Somalia. Our organization works in an environment, operational environment, that can quickly change where the mission focus can shift suddenly and where unique and infrequent time-sensitive opportunities can occur at a moment's notice. Be ready. Don't lose situational awareness and be proactive. Communication is critical to success here in the Horn of Africa. I'm almost done. Thank you for your patience. I know this is, this is probably the longest speech I've ever done. Sorry. Um, over the course of this last year, I've deployed on exercises with our East African Response Force, ERF, which is quite impressive to see all of that in action. I've driven a Mat V with a QRF. No, no, I haven't. No, yes, I have. Um, I have racked up nearly 100,000 frequent flyer miles on C-130s, C-12s, C-26s, and the MV-22 Osprey. I've been underway on a Spanish frigate. I've piloted Jabushan Coast Guard boats. I've hung a 120 millimeter mortar round and didn't hurt anybody. Uh, went on a dismounted patrol, helped build a HESCO bumper, bumper, bunker, led corporals course students on a few runs throughout the camp. And I spent the night out in the desert with soldiers completing the light leaders course. The experiences I have had and who I have had them with will be unforgettable. Also made a pizza in a brick oven, uh, been to Bastille Day. I've, I've done a lot of things here. It's been amazing. My point being is I hope that you all will have fond memories of your time. It's not too late. It's all about your attitude. This is what you make it. Chief Braxton, AKA Teddy, my brother. I'm so glad it is you that earned this challenging yet extremely rewarding position. You will be a great compliment to this team. I leave you a highly competent and motivated force. I wish you well in your efforts to improve what HOA C cell predecessors have done here in Africa and have no doubt that you will leave a legacy behind. You have already started. I challenge you to leave it better than you found it, and I know you will. I wish you and your wife Maritza and son Julian all the best. Keep in touch. Thank you all for your dedication and hard work. Thank you for you and your family's sacrifice and most import, importantly, your work here with our allies and partners supporting security and stability efforts here in East Africa. I am so humbled to have served as your command senior enlisted leader. Just know that every day I've been here, I have been proud to serve with you. Thank you for everything you do.
Keep it nautical. One team. Ladies and gentlemen, the incoming command senior enlisted leader, Chief Master Sergeant Ted R. Braxton, Jr. Thank you. Uh, Sergeant Major Lindell, let the formation shake it out a little bit. Shake it out. Yeah, I was a little long, sorry. No, it's all good. One team, thank you, General Cashman, for the kind words. Thank you, CMC, for the kind words. Good morning, distinguished guests, U.S. Embassy in Djibouti, our gracious Djiboutian hosts, representative of embassies and military partners, dignitaries, court directors, camp senior, senior leaders, SELs, friends, and the entire combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa team. I am deeply honored and privileged to assume the responsibility as the Command Senior Enlisted Leader of the Combined Joint Force, Joint Task Force Horn of Africa. To Major General Cashman, Rear Admiral Kubu, AFRICOM Senior Enlisted Leader, Sergeant Major Michael Woods, and the U.S. Air Force, thank you for your trust and confidence in to lead the CJTF. It is not lost on me the opportunities to lead such a diverse force come in a career for the selected few. I am aware of the selection process and it's not a decision taken lightly, but I'm committed to showing you that you made the right decision. To the men and women of the CJTF, oh well, you have my word. I will continue to lead with integrity, courage, boldness, build relationships and partnerships and ensure our joint force and partners are always at the forefront of everything we do. Command Master Chief Cook, congratulations. You made history as the first United States Coast Guard Sentinel in this position. I know I have big boots to fill, but with the foundation you have laid, I will continue moving the ball forward across East Africa. You are indeed a thoughtful friend, mentor, legacy builder, unicorn, and overall hard charging command senior enlisted leader that the force needed at the right time. The Coast Guard is lucky to have you back in their ranks and they will continue to benefit from your experience and leadership. Best wishes to you and Jen. I hope you, you enjoy your time off with family and friends. To the Djiboutian and international leaders in attendance and those who could not make it, Thank you for your continued partnership and collaboration. While I am familiar with the continent of Africa and Djibouti, there is still much more for me to learn about your country, your people, and your culture. I'm looking forward to it. Together, we will build bridges and relationships, overcome challenges, and pursue our, goal, our shared goals as one team. To my mom, Sable Broussard, I am proud to be your son, um, and thank you for instilling the values that brought me here today. I'm proud to represent you and my family. To my wife, Maritza, and son, Julian, you continue pu to push me to do better than yesterday. Thank you for your decade of moving, patience, and most of all, support and understanding. Thank you for understanding that me coming here is for the love of the mission. It's for the love of taking care and advocating for the enlisted force. Our time away will pass quickly. I will miss you both, but know a strong team surrounds me. To the enlisted force, soldiers, Marines, sailors, airmen, guardians, and our soul sentinel, the backbone and strength of our armed forces, you make it happen. You are the reasons you are the reason our mission succeeds. You are a team of professional of arms, 
which all our relationships are built. Your hard work, empowerment, expertise, relationship building, and positive attitudes do not go unnoticed. No matter the challenges we face today or tomorrow, you make it happen. I am proud to serve alongside of you and be part of your team. But most of all, I look forward to advocating on your behalf for training, readiness, help, morale, welfare, quality of life, and personal and professional development. To close out, you have my word. The enlisted voice will be heard. I look forward to serving for you. Look, I look forward to serving with you and for you. Now let's get back to work and let's continue making it happen. One team, I'm out. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the benediction and the playing of the Joint Service Armed Forces Medley. Let us pray. Lord, as we conclude this brief ceremony, I ask that you will bless us with your wisdom, that we, we may all stand for that which is honorable, good, and just. May we take advantage of the opportunities we have here to become the people we always wanted to be, to uplift others, and to leave things better than we found them. And when each of us departs, may we do so with satisfaction, having given our best. In your holy name. It's Eric. But all we have done, fighting till the battle slump, and the army goes rolling along. It is high, high day, the army's on its way. Come on, the kids, I'm strong. Oh, there we go. You always know that the army goes rolling along.
Please remain standing for the exit of the official party. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. On behalf of Major General Cashman, we thank you for attending.